everybody, this is Mrs. Hamilton, and today we're going to do some biomolecule testing. We're going to test for complex carbohydrates, simple carbohydrates, lipids, and proteins. So first of all, we're going to start off with our complex carbohydrates, and so I'm going to get some starch, okay? Now starch isn't very soluble, so I have to give it a stir, and I'm going to give it a good squirt, and I'm going to put it into my test tube. And then in the next test tube, I'm going to put some water. And the water is going to be a control. So into this one, I'll put some water. Okay, and they are about the same. Maybe I'll put a little bit more in just so they're equal. Okay. Now, in order to test for complex carbohydrates, we use a solution called iodine solution. An iodine solution, when you put it into just a regular water, you will see, I'm gonna put some drops in it. You'll see that iodine in regular water just turns a light brown color, okay? Now, when there is starch present, it should do a complete different color change. So I'm gonna put some drops in here for you to see. Okay, so this is our iodine. And if I add it, can you see? It's gone a blue black color. So this is our test for complex carbohydrates for starch. There's a positive, a blue black, and there's a negative. It just stays the regular brown. Okay, our next test is gonna be for a simple sugar. Okay, so we're gonna use maltose and I'm gonna put a squeeze of maltose, our simple sugar, into my test tube, just slightly. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm gonna put a few squeezes in, and then in my control, I am gonna put water, just like we did before. So, here we go. Now this test, for our simple sugar, we use a reagent called Benedict solution. And Benedict's solution is like this pale bluish color. It's got a tinge of green in it. And I'm gonna put about 20 drops in. So I'm gonna put it in my control first. So 20 drops. And then I'm gonna put the same into my sugar. Okay, now, as you can see, it has changed for a little bit, but not a lot. For this reaction, we need heat. So I'm, I have on here some boiling water. And if I turn it up, you'll start to see it bubble. And I'm gonna place these two test tubes in the boiling water for about two minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna place them in. I can place them in without using the tongs because the test tubes at the moment are not hot. Okay, so I'm gonna pop them in. And we're gonna leave those for two minutes. Okay, that's two minutes. Okay, so I'm going to very carefully remove them using my tongs. Control out, which was the water. And as you can see, it's just the same blue color. But when I remove my simple sugar, you should see that there's a color change. Okay, this one's gone yellow. Okay, and the change can go from anywhere from yellow through to a dark brown color, okay? So, with Benedict's solution in a simple sugar, you will get a change of color. Okay, so our next test is gonna be for lipids. And so I'm gonna put some regular cooking oil, which is here, and I'm gonna place this into our first test tube. It's a bit loopy, but that's what you would expect with oil. And then in our next test tube, I am going to add water, just like before. Now you should know or realize that oil and water do not mix. Okay, so here we go. So for this test, we're gonna use a reagent called Sudan 3. And so for Sudan 3, I'm gonna add the water also to my oil. Because as you realize, oil and water do not mix, okay? 
you can see when I mix them together, you get these globs in there of the water. Now I'll put a little bit more so you can see. Okay. So when you add oil and water together, you get these blobs. Now we're going to use the Sudan 3, which is red. And I'm going to add a few drops to our oil and water mixture. And then I'm going to add a few drops to our just plain old control. Okay. And then I'll give them a shake. So with the just the plain water, you can see that the Sudan just um, mixes in very nicely and evenly. Okay, so this is our negative. However, straight away you can see on this one that there's a separation. And then if you shake it real hard, you'll see, if I come real close, you get these globs. Okay, can you see the globs? Where they're getting coated with the red. Okay, so a positive is where the Sudan is coating, okay, the oil, whereas here it's just dissolved throughout the water. Our final test is for proteins, and we use a solution called Bayouret. So here is our protein solution. I'll give it a stir, and I'll put some squeezes into my test tube, like so. Okay, that should be suffice. And then I'll put some in our water, in our control next tube. So they're about equal. And then I'm going to add my Bayou Red solution, which again is blue, similar to the Benedict's, but not quite the same. So I just need to take that off. I'm going to add a few drops. Okay. Now, what we should notice is in and it's very subtle, but in our protein, the Biuret solution turns a lilac or a purple color. So protein goes purple. However, our water just dilutes it into a lighter blue. Okay, so there you have it. Four tests for four different biomolecules. It's not